Mwenyambo <tos> Tukokere mbogu tukokere lukuru, 
Kiwe tupe o o miango mbora ma tuwang. Kuhio ito tupu tu akotero. Puma tu koko reuringa apu. Chalwe na amatu wa tu rumbra ye. of empowerment of community is a very simple idea. There can be no collective development of people. There must be pillars of successful people that the whole community can lean upon. The urge is for young people in the community to, to look for role models, like myself, that have moved and has come into the national levels in this country. You must push and push and push for these guys so that we can get things out of them. And uh, that brings us to the other issue. As far as the program for next week is concerned, I think we must just stay over, meet the finance guys and fly back with the company jet the next day. Uh, the nice thing would have been, I would have played golf over the weekend. The, day, the Friday we have the number of golf, golf afternoon as part of the sport week. So we're not going to make that, but hopefully we can make the party afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> when are you guys playing squash? Okay, come up. Yes. 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 Yes, do the other one. My mother said, you're not going to get married to a busman, not in my family, my mother. <laughs> and for them it was like, forbidden, you mustn't bring a busman into this family. It's just like taboo, you know, it mustn't happen. I said, no, don't worry, he grown out of that. He's now westernized, you know. He started in America and he's out of the traditions. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened, they all got... Yes, if I look back as to the things that have made myself, I have always aspired to be somebody in life, but I've never think that I would be reaching the levels that I have reached as a young man. The Tokenar community is one of the toughest communities in Namibia. And it's on that basis that I think that we can successfully fight the fight for economic uh, self-sufficiency in this area. So, what are you doing? I'm here. <laughs> I'm sure there are many people out there around the world who would love to know how can they survive in a desert. But those are the things that can come from our people. And it's my dream that our young ones who are surviving in this, who are growing up in this very desert, can tell the world about development. Development in communities have taken place by through educated young people. And one cannot leave that for chance. So my message to our young people is, you must not allow yourself, young people, to lay, to get behind. Look at the role models in your society. 
Look at the Sequakis. Look at the Hermanos Caspers. Look at the landmen of this community. And let these role models become a reality for our young people. The ground that I stand on now, today, is my own land. I'm coming back after 51 years to my motherland. When I look at things around, they look different. I'm going to what was green in the good old days is now dry. But I'm so happy that I'm on my fatherly grounds today. What we would like to do here is to uh, build a camping site where we can bring in some ecotourists uh, to come out here and to learn about the history of our people. And it's from that point of view that we've got to bring the economic vibrancy back, which this place had in the past. This is virgin territory for tourism development, whereby people like my mother and the chief can bring visitors into the area and show them how we used to live in the very good old days. <laughs> This environment is the environment with the biggest income potential in this country. And it's on that basis that we are calling on the world to come and have a look at how people and nature can live together. That's what we have in the Nami Desert. Tourism is the biggest industry in the world. These people can be the biggest foreign exchange earners in Namibia. Tourism attracts the biggest foreign exchange earnings. But there is no advantage which my people are getting. Odigan Leba Hanko could in how. See, in Sadu Kansi, a commit of Sisitini, Umrokeski, Tinin Tau, Wihuji, Masan Sauri, Tinim. Siskin, it is my Masan and Neva Maha. Navasi Mad Maski. Tidigan, I'm going to come here, Titanimi. I say, I the development we want to achieve in this area is mainly based on the natural resources we have. It means we have got the environment. And for that reason, we are very worried uh, because water and our nature in this dry area is one thing. It means one thing. It means one development. And it means the future. For whatever reasons you using water, you have to know that the water is the main golden rule in your life. 
When I was a young man, the Kuiser uh, Valley itself was full of water. Even you can just dig uh, one meter to have water for more than 50 cattle. The main problem is the people that instructed water for the uh, economic growth of the urban areas. I think they don't take uh, uh, much care about the nature itself. I say get like Made <laughs> This place was the original fort built for the German Schutztruppe in 1895 and uh, left to himself in 1912. And we start to rebuild the place and change it into a lead lodge. This lodge is something special in meaning of my family. Then the, the grandfather of my father-in-law was here stationed as soldier. Uh, we actually, we, we the last uh, point is a civilization. Uh, as you stay here, you can go to the Huanip River and see the elephants. Hamburg, yeah? I'm from Hamburg. But you know, that's not good you Italian. See. You have to Rino, Vino, Tinto, eh? Vino. Yeah. yeah. Molto interessante. Vino, Vino. <laughs> Qui è la vera Africa, probabilmente. It's a typical German lunch break in the middle of nowhere. Cheers. Molto interessante, ma è un viaggio molto molto stancante per una donna. It's very tiring for a woman. Passi <laughs> coming back, uh, then you have a nice warm shower, get all the, all the scent from the desert off from your body, and you, uh, and you relax on the on the beautiful sized pool. Cess Fontaine have really not quite a water problem. Cess Fontaine means six fountains. The six fountains running even, even through the driest months and through the driest year, every single fountain are running and have good quality water.
Uruguay,的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古巴的古
and yet they're sitting on a gold mine with the wildlife there and the scenery around the area. What we're really doing is, it's a new kind of rural development. In the past, conservation has tended to, to mean stopping development or, or it's been destructive to people's economy in the sense of lion taking stock or elephant damaging crops. And we're trying to turn that round completely so that wildlife is directly beneficial to local people and they therefore have a reason to look after wildlife. <laughs> Development has become a dirty word um, and th there's no way I can develop anybody or any project can, can develop people. Development is about self-esteem and the best one can do working in this so-called field of development is try and facilitate a climate in which people's own self-esteem can grow. We come out here to liaise with the people. The whole program is based on local participation in any natural resource management activity, making sure that whatever is done in the area is in accordance with what the people themselves would like to have done. Mm. And what about the elephants? I hear that just one elephant came up this far. Are the women happy to stay alone with the elephant if the elephants come here, or would they like the men to be with them? People of this area have actually shown a remarkable willingness just to have wildlife back because the older generation grew up with it, but even the younger generation, they feel that it adds to their environment. It's not only the economics of it. It's just that feeling that that's a complete environment. It's something that I think us Europeans have often forgot, that we talk about scientifically biodiversity. It comes naturally to, to people who live in an environment like this, that everything that could be here should still be here. Can you see but what sex it is? I think uh, anything we can see, it's in good condition and it seems fine. Probably 18 months, two years old. But he's fat. I think this is a very harsh system and uh, man, wildlife, water and grazing are the sort of crucial components to the system. So one had a system in the past that it evolved with this very harsh environment and the people and the wildlife had adapted to it and their use of those resources was based on what was sustainable. It had to be, otherwise the people wouldn't have survived all the wildlife. The Himba are changing want to own cars, they want radios, they want everything that modern modern people have and and good luck to them, they have every right to to have this. But I think what's important is that in attempting to acquire this, people don't end up simply squatting on the edge of, of, a, of, of the capital looking for non-existent wage labour. What we're trying to do here is create a situation where development and work comes to the rural areas and people can change at their own pace.
Il a, 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 At the moment, I just want to hear from the people how are they feel about this water tap. So, as you see, I already get all of the people's feelings. Most of them saying they are happy and they would like to, to thank for us. They want to show us how they play music here, traditional Nama dance. <laughs> The people with houses in Windhoek or in Katutura, that people are people who are having house and every house have their own water tap. At every house there is own water tap and uh, there is no problem there. The problem is here where more than 200 people get water by only one water tap. There, that is uh, different. Ik zie die kennis verwaarloos. Later wordt hij een street kid. En dat is toch niet mooi voor mij en onze oe. Nou, ik heb het niet. Oké, okay. al wordt ik niet bij me. Ik zal maar zo kindergarten maken, voor de bij elkaar maken, voor de bikini leer. Net tot zover ik kan. Nu die ouders hele stel ook belang, dan zullen ja hier iedereen die kan ons kan daarom verder zo beter koffie gegeven de wil ze daar zit, ons kan daarom bigi verder zo stegi vlees gegeven de wil ze daar zit, dan is het nog aan dit bigi voor in. Terug in, maar hoe want doet met je nu? Nee, dan die aan met je strie, die aan doet je zat hoe want doet in tot waarmee? Ready, set, go, strie, one, two, three, four. Die, die dromen van die mensen en hier die locatie is. Al is dit niet groot, hij is niet. Al is dit niet gewoon een klein toilet in een kamer. Hij is. School voor ons kennis. Kerk voor ons, zo'n klein gebouw die voor ons. Laat ons ook voelen, ons is ook mensen. Ons is ons Namibianers, die kennis van Namibia. Ons is ons geboren in Namibia, geboren en groot geworden in Namibia. Zo so ons verwacht, één dag zal municipaliteit of government hier zo voor ons iets doen. Ons zoekt straten, 
recht eet hij zit. Strade, hij zoekt om. En die pad wat recht eet komt. Ons zoekt ook als zwembad is zo want. Om voor jou de was is gezondheid. Zo ons zoekt ook als zwembad alles wat ons zoekt. Ons wil ook ons wil zo blij zoals daar mensen in Ludwig Stor. Ja klein wenduk hier en tabben klein. Daar is het. Ons zoekt diezelfde areas. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, so those people, we also have to do a lot of chiseling and making them come into line with what needs to be done. And that is sometimes not so easy because they say uh, that they can uh, pay for it and uh, they are just entitled to it. And there are, of course, different concepts. The guy that comes from the rural environment, he has got a much better understanding of saving the water because he knows that if this well dries up, they are in deep trouble. While the city person expects that because he pays, it must be supplied because it's just a technical solution. But it's not like that. If you don't have the water, all the pump stations and pipelines help you nothing. If the dam is empty, there's no water. Nobody can buy it. <laughs> So. What we want in Namibia is to have a prosperous Namibia. I, I would wonder what the Swedes will think and develop if there's no clean water. If there's no electricity, just one day in Stockholm, there's no electricity. These are also fundamental to us. The problem is water. And to bring water where the people are, you have to pump the water. Lose a lot of energy. So you must have energy before. In most of the areas of Namibia, there's no water. We have to bring water from Kavango, from the Kavango River. We need energy to go and pump water from Kavango and bring to them. And, uh, where will we get it? Then <laughs> We have a pupa here, a pupa going to give everything to the people. When the pupa is breeding, give you the garden, continuing, give, give you the, the, our meat to selling to the European community, give everything from the pupas. Why we want a pupa to be built? But we hear that from some European community said we are going to destroy our culture. How to destroy our culture, ourselves? How? It is not true that we need the Himbas to keep the culture, the dress of Adam and Eve who wore uh, sheepskins when they transgressed. But they need to move forward where the rest of the world has moved to. I think the people who are saying the, the, the Himba culture, the Himba dress should be kept, are selfish. They only want to benefit from what the Pupa offers at the expense of, this, of these very people. And that is not fair. And therefore, it is necessary for the construction of the dam, if found, 
if found viable. Benadi ali no nuudi. Ogwe kumuna, mago ahimba namba no, mawe kuji pup. Maji tuanda ma mamu toro mia no tuche no maka upiho irongo pinjingui. Ete panamba po e tuputu akwatu akwet. Ah ah, onja po se horment, muhimba kapo se horment ya ungi. Oje muhimba ya po se, oje na yoku tonwa no kutwa mo ndorongo pu. Ola himbo kumuin. The Swapo government do not threatening the people. They want the people to be like others. Because when we are fighting this country, we are fighting to be developed. We are not fighting this country to be there like a long time we were there by then. A pupa may create a fear of the unknown. And that fear can be just fight. It might destroy the environment. That it can be true. It might bring up new cultures, new things. But should we deny fellow Namibians opportunity for economic development just because the regional impact of that project? For me, I feel very happy because I see the things I am not see at the villages and for me it's very beautiful and I feel happy and I don't want to go back again. I want to stay now in Winduk. I think and I dream that I am just now in that building the new houses to stay there. But when I'm now, it's just now four days I don't want to like, but now I don't like to go to bed. The modern women here in Sasvandin. Some women is very modern and they want to be like a minister, like a VIP people, most important people. Mm -hmm. And they are very strong. They don't want to listen to the men. He says, oh, okay, uh, it's no equal right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Our grandparents lent us to clean the garden so that the mills can grow up good. Now we clean these grasses and we gave it to the livestock, the young goats. Maybe it's now 20 years we didn't get the rain and it's very difficult for us to make the garden and vegetables. We want more boreholes here because these springs have so much, it's not so much water and sometimes we have really very, very, very difficult problems with the water here. Without water, it's no less. My dream house would be big, big house, like a palace, and there must be swimming pool and garden and flowers, all the things would be at my house. It's my new house. I built this house this year. Now I divide this house in two sides. Now other side is for the bedroom and this one is a kitchen and all the things, the table chairs and the, the difference, ice cars here, the stove, the cooking stove here, and here should be the, the hankers. And this is, this one should be the bedroom. Then I sleep here. And if I, if I want to stay maybe the evening time, then I must open this door and I must stay there outside to look there, how the people go around. When I was young, my feelings and my dreams was if I finish my school, I must get the job. But I am finished my school, but I didn't have no job and I feel very bad. I like my, my, my job should be the clerk. I want to, I didn't dress just one dress in the, the whole week, like a nurses and like the shukruti job, I don't want that job. I must dress from this one to other one, from this one to other one. And my house, I want to eat at my house the luxury food. Not maize and milk, uh-uh, no. Luxury food. If somebody come here and he says, says Fontaine is now, the, the, the small village. Now, if we come maybe three or five years ago after, then we must say, oh, Sesundain is now big, and Sesundain look now like a big city. Rising in 
Sida di ore nang mpa tare. Sida kere ni hawe. Ore ai hawe kum ki kum ke ha mo no ore di kere ai. Anita Gayu, what I give you, did you know that you got the Bahad of my knack? I come, knack a gun hoo, Taishilandi, knack a maligan hoo, Naguna da Gasiaha, Madagrasa, Nan Huguga in ha. I come the umhea, Habigi, the Harisida diva, our who we had the Gidan. We are out to buy you, Nan Huguna, and I come at the gum. Taib go go go, unga go go go, mara um. I come at you. Taib go go um. I come de madi go mari biba. Taib keni um. I come de madi go mari biyo. Inga usko mo hora ka koin den hub hub go. I come de si kona ngao da chin koin ajuyo chik mo um naran oro. I come de. Ha bin kung ngang hub ngang ngadi kung kaiyao. Koin kum sin sin um kaiye chi. Mai huay inira sin sin kaida unga sin sin kaida unga. Chi ngaba hub mut mari ho. Koin hub boi sa um kaiye de madha haiye. Taib keni mili ding haing hub de haing hub de chen nung. Kun kum hum hugu kum nago, ning hugi kani kai hugu huga hum akabi hum rad nasuri di kumadi dira laba akabi. Inha laba laba. Nungji jan di jan ta ye dagi ring haba di garami. Oji di kustu di dira daba suji na hura u. Kabi ning hugu kai di nan hugu kabi nga uga uga hugu. Ode bas ning hai hugu harun mo tuarau. The first time when I when I'm see Windu, then I thought, ha! Ah, in the night, all the the the, the whole Windu was bright, and then I said, whoo! All the heaven star is now at the ground, and what is now? Then I said, whoo! This one is now the end of the world. Ha! Ah, <laughs> very beautiful, and it's wonderful, surprising. It's kind of, what can I say? Mm. I want to ask something now. Yeah. Are they, when they came here, are they paid the money here or is just charge of free? Take a look at mine. Oh, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. This is my first time, so it's for me very surprising, and I couldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> 